Hey, what is going on you guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today, I'm gonna to show you how to start an online business with no money and earn up to $16,500 per sale and that's actually in commission. So I'm super excited for this video. Got a brand new $1,000 giveaway that I'm doing for everybody that is number one, a subscriber, one that likes this video, one that ticks the bell icon, and one that puts a unique comment in the comments below. So I'm gonna wait until a few people jump on this live here and we'll go ahead and get started every single month. At the end of every single month, I'm doing this $1,000 cash giveaway and one of my lucky subscribers will receive $1,000 in cash. So I'm gonna reiterate that point again as more and more people jump on. If you're watching the replay of this video, please type in hashtag replay either in the live feed or in the comments below so I know that uh, you're tuning in and so I can acknowledge you and go ahead and respond to you. So it looks like we got more and more people jumping on. So I'm gonna show you guys this three-step process. that You can start making money fairly quickly using and leveraging OPM, using and leveraging other people's money without having to use your own money out of pocket. All the richest millionaires, the richest billionaires have used OPM to build their own highly successful businesses. It looks like we got Money Gurus, which is jumping on. He puts in hashtag replay. This is not the replay. This is actually the live right now. So if you are watching the recording, you're going to know because it's not going to show live in the top uh, you know, left-hand corner somewhere on the video. So we've got Jonah. We've got ES Studio. We've got lots of people jumping on. So let's go ahead and let's get into this video. Today, I'm going to show you how to start an online business with absolutely no money out of pocket whatsoever. We've got Jaden that just typed in hashtag live. Awesome, awesome, awesome. So I'm going to go ahead and, and share the screen here, you guys. I'm going to show you this step-by-step -step process and we'll go ahead and get started. So again, before we do, before we start, I've got a brand new $1,000 uh, per month cash giveaway. So every single month at the end of the month, I give away $1,000 to a lucky subscriber, but here's how you qualify. This is what you need to do. Number one, you need to like this very video right now. Okay, number two, subscribe to the channel. Not only so you can get that $1,000 potentially and be entered to win, but because I'm uploading videos really frequently teaching you how to build a life and business full of freedom, passion, and fulfillment, and also go ahead and tick that bell icon so you can be notified of all future videos that I upload when I upload them and when I go live, every time I go live. And then what I want you to do below is I want you to comment one unique way of getting OPM. And I don't want you to copy others' comments. If I see that you've copied somebody else's comment, you're gonna be disqualified. So I want you guys to be creative here. So again, let's first explain to you exactly what OPM is, okay? OPM is simply other people's money. You're actually using somebody else's money to invest in your own online business. I'll give you a few examples here. This is gonna be a giveaway for a couple of people that can use this in the comments. You can use your friend's money. You can use the bank's money. You can use your family's money, right? Those are three examples of getting somebody else's money to invest in your online business. So what's the benefit of OPM? Let me give you a perfect example. I've been shopping for a second property. And instead of using my own money, my own cash for that property, for that $450,000 property, what I can do is I can take that cash that I have and I can invest it into something else that's going to give me a return, right? Versus the return on this home. Now, this the the this home, of course, is going to produce some cash flow for me. It's going to produce some money, but 
The reason why I would put it somewhere else is because that's going to give me a bigger return than putting that in a property where I might not get a return on that cash for quite some time. So over here, I'm able to get an immediate return, like maybe putting it in the stock market versus putting it in a home, which may take some time to actually get cash flow and get a return on that $400,000, unless it's some sort of fix and flip, right? That would be the only case. But in the case that I'm doing it, it's not a fix and, and flip. It's a long-term investment. So what I could do is I could actually leverage the bank's money, right? They can give me the loan for the home. And then I can get a tenant in the home. And then I can charge them at a higher rate for rent than what my payment is to cover interest and cover, you know, um, you know, property taxes and so on and so forth. So that would be a perfect example of using and leveraging OPM, using and leveraging other people's money. Okay. And your business, if you're investing, you know, other people's money into your business, you're going to make a lot more money in the long term from OPM than you would you know, um, you know, paying the in, you know, paying the interest on other people's money, right? So when you go ahead and you get a loan out, right, you're paying interest on that loan, but your business is going to produce far more money than what you're going to actually pay on OPM, pay on other people's money. Am I making sense here? If I'm making sense, please let me know in the comments box below. We've got uh, Brian says, morning, brother. What's going on? Brian Pfeiffer. Thanks for jumping on, my man. How's Vegas treating you? we got Arun, uh, which typed in hashtag replay. This is still the live, my man. Uh, we've got, uh, yeah, you could borrow from a 401k bank loan. Uh, parents, perfect example. Uh, you could do a PayPal loan. I'm loving that one too. You can actually go out and you can get PayPal credit. Okay. So we've got some really, really good comments here in the comments uh, box below. So let's go ahead and let's show you guys how you could start using OPM with minimum 625 credit score, I believe, and right around 20 to $30,000 in yearly income you can go out there and you can start a very profitable high ticket business where you can earn up to $16,500 in commissions. So let's go ahead and let's get started with this. Now I'm going to jump back. We're going to share the screen once again, and um, you guys can see. So again, make sure that you qualify for that thousand dollar per month cash giveaway by following uh, below. So I gave you guys some examples of what OPM is. Give me some more examples so you can qualify in the comments below. Okay, so step number one, what we want to do is we want to set up a free account over at this website right here. So this is a system that I've been using for the past, it's been about a couple of months now, but I haven't really made it public uh, because I really haven't been promoting it as much as I probably should because the results that I've gotten are quite astounding. If I jump here into my member panel, this is only from two cells, you guys. Two cells have produced me $19,500 in total earnings. That means I got one cell that made me a $16,500 commission, and I had another cell that made me a $3,000 commission. Okay, so a total of $19,500. And so if you want to start potentially earning commissions, big commissions like this with no money out of pocket whatsoever, then pay very, very close attention right now. So the first thing that we want to do is set up a free account at uh, nomoreworkdays.com forward slash OPM dash wealth. That's going to be in the description below. So what you'll do is you'll go ahead and you'll click that. Um, in the description, and it's going to take you to a page that looks something like this. It's going to explain in a little bit more detail from sort of a 2,500 foot or 10,000 foot perspective. Uh, Stefan is actually the owner of OPM Wealth. And what you'll do is you'll watch this video. He'll explain a little bit more about it. And then you just put how you heard about OPM Wealth, which most of you guys 
or on this YouTube live or the recording. So you heard it from about it from YouTube, and then you'll just click on YouTube or wherever you heard it from, um, and proceed to the next step, and then enter your email, and then uh, go to step three, and then get access now. When you get access, it's going to take you to this first page right here, okay, where it says "Welcome to OPM Wealth," and again, it's going to tell you in a little bit more detail what OPM Wealth is, and then what you'll do after that is you'll uh, you'll go ahead and watch two more videos. Okay. So there's three videos in all. So step one, again, create an account here. Once you create your account here, you'll complete the first three videos. So once again, the first video is going to be this video here. After you complete this video, you'll click on continue training here. And that's actually going to take you to phase one. In phase one, you're going to watch this video right here. Again, it's really going to help you understand on a deeper level what this whole entire system is, how you're going to be able to leverage other people's money. And it's really cool because this can be applied to anything. You can use this money you know, to invest in this current system and start earning those big commissions. You can also use as principles of OPM to you know, invest into other businesses and start you know, businesses in real estate start businesses in e-commerce, start businesses in affiliate marketing like this. So this, this system essentially is a system to where everything's pretty much done for you. And I'm going to get kind of to the point uh, and I'm kind of getting ahead of myself of what you're actually getting with OPM Wealth, not just obviously the lending, but you're getting the system too as well. And again, that this video right here is going to explain that in quite a bit more detail. After you complete this video, you'll proceed to the next step and you'll complete the very next video, which is the third video. And then it's going to have you schedule a call with your coach. Okay. So all you'll do is you'll click the link here to schedule a call. And the coaches will simply run through everything that you've been to up to this point. And if you like what you're you know, you're seeing they're going to give you a little bit more details about the actual OPM wealth system. OK, so what do you get with the actual OPM wealth system? Well, you're going to get access to the same exact process, of course, that you just went through this high converting process. And we obviously know it works because it's working for me right here and I'm earning these big commissions. Um, and so. All you need to do is when you connect with your coach, they will explain to you about, you know, the exact uh, business that you're seeing here. And here's just a few bullet points. Number one, you're going to get access to eight figure coaches to close sales for you. So if you're somebody that's just terrible at sales, you hate selling and telling and doing all that stuff. That's fine because they've got eight figure coaches. These coaches, guys, some of these coaches are making one point five million dollars per year. These are top of the line coaches. You can call them close closers. You can call them salespeople. You can call them whatever it is that you want. Okay. I think salespeople has kind of been given a bad rep. So that's why they use the word coaches because they truly are coaches. They truly want to see if this is something that you want and if there's a mutual fit and you're going to benefit from this very system. There's no pushy sells people to try to get you to buy something that you don't want. Because what happens at the end of the day is people end up refunding. They end up with a sour taste in their mouth and that's not what they want. So if you do not have the proper credit score, this is a big one. If you do not have the proper credit score to get OPM, that's completely fine because they have an in-house credit repair service. So depending on your credit situation, they can fix your credit in the next four to six weeks. Now, if you have like bankruptcy, something like that, it might take about 60 to 90 days to get that off your credit. And we've seen people raise their credit 100 to 200 points by using the in-house credit repair service. And then once you're done with that, then you, act, you can actually acquire funding. Again, that's dependent on whether you need credit repair or not. And then they also have in-house financing. So they have, they have their own in-house banks that they work with. Everything is all in-house. So again, you can get started with as little as a 625 credit score. I believe it might be even closer to 600 and at least a 20 to $30,000 proof of yearly income. 
to start getting OPM, which is just phenomenal, right? Typically with most lenders, you need like a 650, 675, you need to be making like 50 grand a year. So with this, you don't, which is really, really cool. And then you have in-house traffic. So once you get access to the funding, you you know fund the system, you get qualified, you get the products. And by the way, what products are included with OPM Wealth? Well, they're going to educate you on crypto. They're going to educate you on e-commerce. They're going to educate you on digital marketing. Okay, so you're actually getting digital marketing education, digital marketing training that you can then use, consume, learn from, and start generating results with, okay? And then there's in-house traffic. And this is not solo ad traffic. This is not these traffic rotators that people talk about. This is their in-house traffic. They're buying millions upon millions of impressions uh, every single month across the internet from banner ads um, to Google PPC, to YouTube, to Facebook ads, so on and so forth. And so they're doing all the work. You're able to keep um, pretty much most of the money. Uh, you get about 50% commission. So you make a $27,500 sell, you're going to get $16,500 commissions, which is one that I got recently over the past week because of this very proven system. So that's essentially what OPM wealth is. And, you know, using the power of, of, of somebody else's money is the, the best thing that you can do because you can spend all this time squirreling away your own money and saving up your own money. But then you're taking all of that money and you're risking all of that money when you can use some of that money to maybe pay some of your bills. You can use some of that money to do some, some things that you enjoy. Whereas you could use somebody else's money, make monthly payments on it, get the funding you need to start a business, and then leverage your own money, like I said, for something else, whether it's you know investing in another business venture and creating more cash flow, using it to you know pay bills, things like that. So people often underestimate OPM because they think that when you get a loan, that's a bad thing. I can't tell you how many people I know where they just cut up their credit cards and they have no credit. They have no leverage from banks whatsoever because they make bad decisions. They're leveraging their credit improperly by going to uh, the clothing store, going to the mall and getting a credit card at Nordstrom and then just maxing out that credit card. That is that is bad debt, guys. You need to understand the difference between good debt and bad debt. Good debt is debt that's going to generate you, you cash flow either in the short term or in the long term. So like investing into cryptocurrency, that could potentially be a, you know, a, a good investment, right? You might get a loan to do that. You know, of course, you don't want to heavily weigh all of your, your, your income into one asset category either. So you want to make sure that you're diversifying, but that's just an example of you getting a loan to use it for good debt. It could be real estate, uh, again, good debt, but again, it depends on your, your portfolio and your asset allocation. I like to at least have like 10 to 20% of my investments into crypto. I like to have at least, uh, you know, 20 to 30% in real estate and then, you know, 30 to 40% in stocks. Okay. So you want to make sure that you're diversifying. And then of course you want to take a portion and put it in and reinvest it back into your business. That should be the, the biggest thing because nothing is going to give you a, a, as a, a bigger return as your own online business. Okay. When I got started, my first product that I bought was like a $97 product. That $97 has now turned into millions and millions of dollars. Now, there was products that I bought thereafter. So I guess you could say that all in all, an initial, you know, I would say right around five to $10,000 investment has resulted in about millions and millions and millions of dollars online. Okay. So that just goes to show you, I mean, there's no there's no stock that can do that for you. There's no cryptocurrency that can do that for you. There's no uh, piece of real estate that can do that for you. When you invest in yourself, that is the best investment you can and make. And that's the biggest return on investment that you're going to get is by investing into yourself. So 
If you go out there to get OPM, other people's money, the bank's money, friends, family's money to invest into yourself, that's going to be the best thing that you can do. Now, the fastest way to get OPM is obviously through the bank because, you know, there's contracts involved and all that stuff. And they know that if you don't pay it back, you know, it's going to go to collections where with friends and family, you might be able to get away with it. So if you want to get the most money, obviously going to a bank is going to be the most beneficial. So Jaden said something really cool here. He says, thanks, Josh, to your training. So far, I took action in two weeks. I have got 3,000 email subscribers in two weeks for free. That's 3,000 email subscribers in two weeks for free, leveraging the free methods that I teach you, you know, inside of this channel. So that's really, really cool. So let's see, going well, Jaden. Hello, everyone. How's it going? Um, Fitness Best, your affiliate course for seven bucks. Is that all I pay for it? Uh, that's never the end of the tunnel, right? Um, typically, you get what you invest. So we obviously over deliver on that seven dollar product, but that's just an entry level product to teach people what you know high ticket affiliate marketing really is. Um, obviously there's other upsells because if I'm running ads and if I'm just running ads to a $7 product, everybody should know this. There's a reason for upsells. If I'm just running ads to a $7 product, there's no way I'm going to get into profit. <clears throat> That's like going to McDonald's and all they offer on the menu was a $2 cheeseburger and that's all you can get. So unless you're getting like a dozen, you know, $2 cheeseburgers, uh, you know, McDonald's isn't going to make any money because you know how much money they spend on TV advertisement and billboards <clears throat> and online ads to only sell one product. That's why you never want to sell one product and even a low ticket product at that. You want to have many different products that you're promoting within one single sell sequence, within one single funnel. That's why I got a $7 product, then I got a $97 product, then a $197, and then a thousand and then even a 10, 20, and even a $30,000 product. That is why guys, it's not because, you know, somebody wants to take money from you and steal your money and, and, and all this, you know, negative talk that, that, and a lot of this talk, you know, poverty talk that people, you know, speak. It's because they don't understand how a successful business actually works to make money off of advertising. You need to charge more you need to start from a low ticket product to a high ticket product. And that's just the way that works. That's the name of the game. It's like baseball, right? Baseball has, you know, uh, four bases that you need to cover. And that's just the way that it works. It's the rules of the game and you can't change it. The rules of online marketing is you need a funnel that has low ticket to high ticket products. So you can break even on your advertising and even make money on the front end of your advertising. Okay. What are the common, this is a good question. What are the common affiliate mistakes in paid traffic? It's very simple. They don't know the game of paid traffic and they haven't mastered free traffic yet. And that's in my own humble opinion. I think you can't be very good at paid traffic unless you've mastered free traffic. And paid traffic often requires you learn copywriting skills. It's really understanding your customer avatar, understanding who you're actually marketing to. Most people don't even get that whatsoever. Um, and it, there's other variables. They don't know how to structure and set up a funnel. They don't even know how to create an offer. So there's many variables why people fail with paid traffic. It's not because they don't know Facebook ads. They can know Facebook ads, but they just don't know how to create a good offer. And so when they put that offer out there via Facebook ads, people see it, but they don't resonate with it because they don't like the offer. But then people say, oh, I'm not good at Facebook ads. No, you're not good at creating offers, good offers. And that's that's the problem. Okay, so Kenneth Fax, is there any advice for inviting sincere businesses for help with funding in uh, the USA? So if you go through the, the link below, Kenneth, the in-house funding service that you'll get access to is operated by Jeremy Miner, which I've worked with him in past business ventures. He's one of the most trustworthy people that I've come in contact with. 
He's ran sales teams for, uh, he's actually trained Google's, Google salespeople, right? Google AdWords. Now it's Google ads. So this guy knows what he's doing when it comes to staffing, not only salespeople that are going to, you know, sell OPM to your customers and do it in the right way and do it ethically, but he would have never partnered with OPM if they didn't have good connections either. So if you want sincere businesses for helping with funding in the USA, OPM is a great way to get access to good funding. Okay. Um, is Jeremy a potential J joint venture? No, he is the manager. He actually manages all, he kind of staffs all the salespeople for OPM. All right, you guys. So any, any more questions? You guys have any more questions as, as it relates to OPM? You guys should have clicked the link below by now or at least after this video because I want you paying very close attention to everything that I say. Hopefully you guys did that throughout this video. Um, if you did, go ahead, click the link below, complete the process, find out if OPM's for you. If you're in a situation where you really wanna start an online business and you need other people's money because that is the number one thing that's stopping people from starting a business is I don't have the money. Well, guess what? You don't need the money. You just need to be resourceful. And I even encourage people, if, if you don't have the funding, you can't get the funding, you know, repair your credit, and then number two, write down 30 different ways that you can come up with money, okay? As I said in the beginning of this, if you wanna qualify for that $1,000 that I'm giving away every single month, type in one way that you can find other people's money. I'm gonna give you another one right now. You can sell stuff. You can sell stuff. That's how you can get money from other people. You can sell your own goods. You can sell furniture. You could sell uh, you know, your Xbox. You can sell... Um, you, you could sell your own services. You could sell paintings if you're good at paint, right? You, I want you guys to be resourceful because that's what's lacking even before the money is the resources right here between the ears to go out there and figure out how to get the money. Okay. Awesome guys. Thank you so much for tuning in this today. I appreciate you guys for jumping on. If you just jumped on the replay, again, go to back to the beginning of this and watch this all the way through and go ahead and click the link below to get started with OPM, get started with other people's money. And uh, Thrift Lister, I'm gonna go ahead and answer this last question. Do you have a preference landing pages versus websites? Always landing pages. You want your customer to follow one specific line, to take a one specific action, and you do not want to distract them. So that's why you use landing pages over these big websites with like the contact us about us blog, all these other confusing pages, right? We want to take them from start to finish in a straight line to our number one goal as quickly as possible. Okay. Thanks guys for jumping on and we will see you guys in the next live. Like, comment, subscribe, tick that bell icon and comment below what's a unique way that you can get OPM to start your own online business. Take care, you guys.